want to start just by introducing a recent piece you wrote. I think it was for Executive Magazine. It was two or three weeks back. It was the first week of May. Lebanon's new electricity plan. And there's a byline, which I really enjoyed, an exercise in trust. And there's this almost a... Um, a uh, I know that the impact is not meant to be comedic, but it is comedic because it's a repetition. It's an ongoing thing that we all know about, that plan, that sort of existential plan that doesn't get anywhere. But then you focus in on trust and accountability. Do you sense this time around, given the last six, seven months of what we both experienced in Lebanon, that sort of upswell of demand for accountability and transparency, and like you said, a system that works, institutions that work, do you think this time around there is a moment to capture and what I mean by that is, do you sense that this issue, electricity reform, is finally on the table and that it's going to be potentially fixed? Or in your mind, is this sort of just a, we're familiar with this terrain, we're going to see it eventually just die the way we've seen all these different plans die in the past? I just want to mention that I actually wrote that a year ago, but your confusion is actually quite, quite oh. right, quite accurate, because nothing has changed. Oh, I, I apologize. That's, no, no, it's fine, because actually it's very legit, because in that one-year framework, really nothing has happened on the ground. I'm embarrassed. Says a lot about just in the electricity sector in Lebanon, and you know, just so many plans and talks and nothing actually happening. Okay, I'm embarrassed, because I actually do my research diligently. I'd never no, really... I, and I saw this being shared recently on Twitter, I think. So I actually was sort of, you know. Yeah, because I, I reshared it recently because oh, of that. Okay, but and that, perfect. And your confusion is just, seriously, it just, it's just the reaction of everything that's going on in the power sector. It's right. planning, talking about reforms, and nothing actually happening. So if I go through all my pieces that I wrote last year or before, of it's just going to be, it actually applies for now. Uh, do I think that this time is is going to trigger some sort of reforms? So if we look into the power sector reforms in many countries across the across the world, they're more normally triggered by a crisis, which mm -hmm. which could be an unsustainable debt, like the case in Le of Lebanon. So you need to ha have political will to implement reforms, yeah. and when when you have absence of political will in a business as usual scenario, then a crisis can actually make it happen. Now the bad thing. Uh, is that if we look into the political uh, scene in Lebanon, is still everyone is still acting as if it's still business as usual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's part. So we're not actually responding to the crisis page, not on the economic level, but also not on the power sector level. So we're seeing just um, we're continuing with the plans that have actually written something else on the different, so many of the uh, shortcomings of the plan. Right. Uh, the things are going, so we can discuss that later. And we're continuing in the same kind of planning and momentum, which is lacks sustainability, lacks a long-term vision to start with and a good governance structure. So it's... Reforms. You know, and I, in a way, it is kind of fitting that this could be written any of the last maybe five or even 10 years, that it's kind of the continuous disappointment. But do you sense that, and I understand where you're, you're in a way, it's a, it's an admittance that the political situation has not kind of, it hasn't reached the tipping point where they see citizen demands as critical to their own survivability. But But do you sense that the protest movement has within it that sort of push that something like the electricity sector could could be could be reformed to a point not not necessarily no magic solutions here but just that that there is going to be improvements on the horizon or is it is it still a lost cause in your heart because i ask this because you're somebody that is sort of you're fluent in this sort of subject and i just want to know your own sort of your own immediate instinctual feeling on whether or not this will improve in the short term I would personally say I haven't given up that okay. yeah. it might actually lead to something good. Mm. Um, it might be the past protests, but it might also be the future protests as well. Because okay. the way yeah. things are moving, we're not seeing actual reforms, there's no accountability, there's no citizens' trust in, in the government, yeah. and the government, there's no perception from the citizens' part that 
the government is keen on implementing reforms that fall in the benefits of the citizen. And that's in any kind of reform, whether in the power sector or right. the broader economy or anything, is, is a critical factor. If you do not have citizens' trust, then any kind of reform is not going to go through uh, and it's not going to be efficient. So building that trust will require the government to actually doing things kind of the right way. <laughs>